Hi guys and welcome to the start of this weekend's uh, formation rotation. The first one is going to be 4-1-2-1-2 today and then another formation tomorrow. So remember to check that out as well. So also guys, remember to check out FIFACoinTraders.com. Uh, they can supply you with some reliable FIFA Ultimate Team Coins. They're linked in the description. So this formation guys is overly used in real life by football teams all over the world. From Australia to America and all the shit in between. But it's not really used in game or um, on Ultimate Team. Really, I've not. I don't really come up against this formation. It's usually a five at the back, a three-five-two, a three-four-two-one, or other formations like that. So let we're going to delve in and hopefully find out why the hell people don't use it. Because on paper, by the looks of it, it looks fairly solid. Solid. Sorry, there is cover down the left, there's cover down the right. There isn't really any gaps in these players in certain positions. So, in your opinion, why do you think it's not really used? Some of you may actively use it, so you, I want you lot to come forward as well and tell me what type of teams you play with. Do you play the passing game, the sweat game, or uh, the skill game? So let me know in the comments section below. Also, we're going to be doing a comparison of uh, a few players in the game. But we'll be doing that in a bit. Anyway, so let's get on with the squad builder first. And uh, show you what team we have put in this week. So the goalkeeper, it's going to be a silver. And it's going to be Pat, uh, the uh, Dutch from Ghent. Uh, in the Pro League as well, I think as well. So he gets a decent link with the centre-back we're going to put in, in there. Uh, who is going to be none other than the beastly fucking donk now this guy is unreal he f he does hold his own in gold teams as well as silvers he is uh, easily one of the best silver center backs i've ever played with on the game and his long shot is something to die for as well if you can ever get him over drifting the uh, halfway line so the second centre back, as you did see there, was Heitinger, the Dutch destroyer from Everton. A bit of a blue nose as well. So the right back to start off the finish of the defence is going to be Savio Glue. Now this guy cost us 20k. The reason he cost us 20,000 coins was because of that 90 pace. And how rare he is as well. There's quite only uh, a few of him on the market when I was looking. The left back, to finish off the defence, you can either have Ashley Cole. If you've got him in your team and you're wanting to use him. Or you can have Butner if you want to be a bit flashy. And that is a guy who we have chosen for the team. Uh, so that finished off the defence there. Moving on to the DM position. And that is going to be one of the cheapest in the squad. And it's going to be Anita from Newcastle. Uh, the guy with a girl's name as some people say. I think Math's one of them who calls him that. Uh, and that is the defence. Looking quite good actually. Um. And quite enjoyable to play with. So the left midfield is going to be another Manchester United player. It's going to be young. So we'll get a strong link with Butner. And uh, also the striker who we'll put in there. The right midfield is going to be Amrabat. But you can have Antelope depending on if you want to play a silver player. There or not. But we went with this guy because he's got four star skills, four star weak foot. And his 85 pace and 82 dribbling stats did look godly but unfortunately he doesn't feel like that in game and his card's really weird because it looks like he's got hair but in game he's bold it's a bit of a mind fuck <laughs> so anyway cam position to uh, start off the attacking side and it is schneider now we have played him in a previous formation rotation but the reasoning uh, i've given him another try is because in the other time i've heard I think we played him in a 4-2-2-2, so he was out on the wing a little bit. So we thought, let's try him in the central wall and have a have a go with his shots uh, outside the area. And hopefully they can come good and I can give you a bit of a gleaming review of him. So the strikers to finish off the business end of the team. And the first one is going to be Van Persie, the 88 rated Dutch destroyer. And uh, actually there's quite a few Dutch people in this team, I didn't even realise. But anyway, he is an absolute animal and his strike partner, as you did see there, was Inform Yilmaz. Now with Yilmaz, we did pack that bastard. So that's the reason we did throw him in there. And no doubt soon after this video has gone out, we will be getting rid because of, uh, I don't think I'll ever use him again. Unfortunately, a lot of people do rave about Yilmaz, especially Capgun Tom and his uh, subscribers, but unfortunately, I don't see the hype. Uh, never have, never will. Unfortunately, it's a bit slow for me. So that's the team built, guys. It is a full chem team, as usual. It has got one, two, three, four dead links, so don't even start going down that hybrid road, because I'm building teams for people to use, not, not claiming proper hybrids or the best hybrids on the game, but you can build them if you want. So, the formation itself, 
it's well spread uh, out. You've got a left mid cam, right mid and a DM. So you've got the diamond in the midfield. And you've also got the two strikers as well. So you can be supported well. The defence, you've got one DM. Uh, and the four at the back as well so it's quite it is quite a beastly formation but it is also quite expensive on the market as well it's going to cost you a couple of k to get a player in that formation but otherwise um it's nothing to um it's nothing to go home and start shouting about uh but it is it's a formation, I suppose, but I want to really not want to know your opinion on this one. So make sure in the comment section below you do tell me how you find this formation, uh, whether you like it, whether you hate it, or like my mark really. And uh, I'm now going to show you some clips of the four games we did playing Division One with it, and then basically finalise what I thought of this formation. And that's it. So I'll be back in a sec. So we're back guys and these are the highlights of the games we did play in Division 1. Now this formation didn't really find it that interesting. The only player I really did enjoy using was Van Persie himself. As you can see it's a very basic formation. Nothing out of the ordinary with the overlapping runs and stuff like that. So you just yeah, with this formation you are relying on the two front. Uh, two front strikers if you get them wrong you will be left in a hell of a lot of trouble thank god we had van persie in this team and also am rabat who we did we had we we were forced to tramp a few times because yilmaz inform yilmaz was absolutely shite <laughs> really do not like him uh, so thank god am rabat did step up his game and uh, get into positions we needed him to but van persie was a lifesaver as well uh, scoring goals like this but then again he is expected to score goals being in that uh, position and formation. But yeah, 4-1-2-1-2 four, 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 one, two, one, two. wasn't really a formation that I've enjoyed using. I probably will not go back to it, like I've said, with previous formations. Uh, mainly due to the fact that you are relying a hell of a lot on the two front two. You're not relying on any, any other game winners. Even though Schneider was at Cam, he did ping off some nice passing. Uh, some as long, If you can get him in a shooting position outside the area, then yeah, he'll uh, he'll pop a shot like he did just see in a previous clip. But yeah, until then, I won't be going back, unfortunately, not even in head-to-head. -head. So uh, yeah, the goal's been very basic, not been much... Uh, much wonder goals unfortunately but that's what's going to happen when i'm playing a formation i'm not really entertaining with so guys if you have enjoyed this episode please leave it a like comment in the section below and remember to subscribe if you're not subscribed also remember to check out fifacointraders.com their link is in the description and until next time guys i will see you later